What do you get when you combine tennis, badminton, and ping pong? Naperville News 17's Alyssa Bohenik stepped onto the court to find out. The game may look familiar, but it's got a name and sound unique to its play. Pickleball is basically a racket sport that combines um, many elements of ping pong or table tennis, actual tennis, and badminton. It's actually played on a badminton sized court with a shorter net than a tennis court and we use paddles, like oversized ping pong paddles instead of a tennis racket. The sport began back in the 1960s and as legend has it, was thought up when three dads needed a way to keep their kids occupied. They came up with this, naming it after one of their dogs named Pickles who liked to chase the ball. Today it's gaining popularity in all age groups due to the various intensity levels with which you can play. When I first heard of it, I went home and talked to my kids and they told me that they played in gym class. And then I've talked to many other people who say, oh, my grandma plays it, my grandpa plays it. And now it was my turn. So I grabbed the wiffle ball and gave it a shot. Typically played in doubles and indoors, the game plays a bit like a tennis or badminton match with a few particulars. You serve the ball over the net the ball has to bounce two times before you can actually rally, so hit it, or volley, hit it back and forth. So you serve, the opponents let it bounce, they hit it back, the serving team has to let it bounce, and then anything goes. The only thing you can't do, I don't know if you can tell, there's an area in the front of the court called the kitchen, and you cannot volley within that. You have to let it drop before you hit the ball. And it wasn't long before I realized why others have found fun in a game with a silly name. You know, it's really a sport for all ages and abilities. So that's what makes it fun. The smaller court also makes it more social. You can talk, you know, there's some trash talk sometimes going on all in a good way, but it's really, you know, it, it can be very social. It was easy to pick up, which was fun. And we went out with some of the tennis pros and could be competitive with them. So that was fun too. Again, that aspect of kind of anybody can play together and still have fun. Getting into the game, I'm Melissa Bohenick for Naperville News 17. The cost of the game is relatively cheap as well, with the racket costing around $50 and the wiffle ball just a few dollars.